Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale. This is about the most special guest we've had in this kitchen in all its lifetime, and pretty much in any Laura in the Kitchen studio kitchen of all times. My precious Nana is here in the States. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen the video. It's been a long time coming. We are just eating up every single second. And of course we had to take the opportunity to make some videos because life's precious. I'm holding on to every moment and I know you wanna see it too. Today we're gonna make you one of our favorites. Um, it's basically pasta patate, but baked. So it's like a baked pasta patate. Um, it is so phenomenal. I'm thrilled to share it with you. I'm gonna have her, I'm gonna try to get her to walk you through the entire thing as I translate. So be patient. Um, and let's get started. Ano? La prima cosa? Che c'è fa? Come fa? Il primo passo. Metto lui. Metto lui io. Okay. Olio. Quanto olio ci vuole? Metto tu o metto io? Aspie è pesante a bottiglia. Aspie. Aspie. Quanto olio? Tu mi devi dare la misura. Quando dice? Cosa c'è di se aspie? Che mi equivoco. Basta. Basta. Allora, due cucchiai. Mm. Un capo tablespoons of olive oil. Poi ci mettiamo questo, metti, io ti metto il cangop e tu lo metti dentro, vai. Allora, onions and celery, chopped. Tu ci metti il l'aglio nella pasta e patate o no? Mai. People are going to say, you need garlic in there. Acevoli, sì, ma l'aglio mai. Onion, yes, garlic, never. Però? L'aglio ci va da pasta e fagioli. Giumetti. Giumetti. Giumetti che mi piace. That's a, I've, I've talked about this all the time, the misconception that Italians love garlic. She's not a big garlic fan. When you put the aglio, you put it sempre intero e poi ci Eh. She always puts in a whole clove or two or whatever, whenever she, a recipe calls for garlic, and then she takes it out. Once the flavor is done its job, she takes it out because she doesn't love to bite down on it. Deve soffriggere. Quanto tempo? Che le si vede a mano io? Mm. Io faccio un po' che so la così, faccio mm. un po' di po salto, faccio un po' di padana. Ah, ok. Faccio subito subito, capi? Ok, she's gonna saute this. Faccio né brucia e né venire lunga. Ok, she doesn't eh. like to make it too, too caramelized, nor does she like it too translucent. She likes to cook the aromatics for just a couple minutes and then she's gonna unite some sauce and the potatoes, which we've peeled and she's cut by hand into bite-sized pieces. Se non c'è nemmeno la salsa, c'è la pomarola no bucacci, no, potete mettere un po' di pomarolella. Sì, non c'è già. No, dico, se non c'è questo prodotto. Ah, c'è anche il pomarolo. If you don't have, like, tomato sauce, you can use a couple of ripe tomatoes if you want to, as long as it's a tomato product that's not ketchup, because heaven forbid, right? Vai? Ok, at this point she's gonna add the sauce. Tutta ce la metti? About a half a cup of sauce. Having her give me recipes is one of the most difficult things. Qua no, la chiappa qua sopra non si vede. It's one of the hardest things because the woman doesn't measure anything. In fact, as we speak, we are working on making like a classic Italian sweet cake that I grew up eating. And it's a cake that takes days to make because the process has to kind of turn into like the, the the very first process is to sit for two days and then it's gonna sit for another two days. I don't know how she does it without measuring anything and it always comes out right, but I'm trying to nail the recipe down so that I can actually share it and it is so difficult. I'm recording it on my phone and on a small camera and as I record it, I'm telling myself what she is saying so that I can get like the approximate right and then I have to just remake it myself measuring th stuff and I don't know how well it's gonna turn out, but. There's just no measuring. Dimmi. Tutto l'acqua o solo? No, no. Okay. Once the tomato the sauce, the tomato product has cooked for a minute, she's gonna go ahead and add the potatoes. They're just soaking in water so they don't turn. Otherwise, they'll turn a really weird brown color. They oxidize. Okay. Che ti piace di più, pasta e patate o riso e patate? Pasta e patate meglio. Mm. She likes, you can make this recipe with rice as well, but, but pasta mishkata is meglio, no? Si. It's got to be mixed pasta. So you can't really find it here in the States. So what I typically do is I make my own and you just take le leftover bits and pieces of shortcut pasta 
and then you mix it together. The only important thing is that all the pasta is the same brand or at least it cooks the same. Otherwise, you don't want some pasta that takes 10 minutes to cook and others that takes 15 minutes to cook because it'll be uneven. Okay, add the potatoes, mix it with everything together. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go grab some water. No, that's it, is it? Bene, aspetto l'acqua. Okay. Go ahead and put the water. Dimmi quanto basta? QB. QB. La drama l'acqua QB. It's, 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 in a lot of Italian recipes, it'll be like water cute B, which, which means, about to which means quanto basta, which means like as much as you need, basically. The rind of some parmesan. And my aunt was telling me a story of when someone, when she used, she used to be a rep for um, a kitchen appliance, and with this appliance, but basilico. With this appliance, you got a booklet of recipes. And in the booklet of recipes, it says salt, cute B, which means as much as you need. See. And she one time got a message from someone that says, I've been to every grocery store, every pharmacy, every health food store, and I don't know where to find the specific salt, cute B. But she thought it was like an actual item, right? That's the same as when I write. Uh, a stick of butter at room temperature. I've also gotten emails from people that say, hey, I don't know where to buy butter that's softened at room temperature. You're just gonna, I just gotta make it more clear that it's not an item that you can buy, right? It's, it, it's a play on words that, that was very funny. So it's like an inside family joke. Allora, quando andiamo a cucinare? Per un minuto. Per un minuto. Half hour to 45 minutes until the potatoes are tender. I see. But they bring the food. See. And then, well, for you. He's telling when the pasta. He's telling when the pasta. And quanti gradi? 180. The food. Okay. I'll preheat the oven to 350 while that's going. It's been about 45 minutes. No, sto spiegando. Sono state una, tre quarti d'ora a bollire. La patata mo ah. è buona, si è sciolta praticamente. The potato is really well cooked. Everything's up to a boil. Now you're going to add the pasta. By the way, she also told me to increase the oven to 400, which I've done. We use, I've, I've said this before, but we use a, a mix of pasta. Um, you can use all di tallini if you want to. This is traditionally what you use. It's called pasta mista. It's hard to find in a grocery store. But growing up, she always made her own because she would, bye, bye, bye. She would add all the leftover bits and pieces of pasta left over at the bottom of the box. She would add to a jar and make her own. Body baby, she would it, also it. Should we up? Okay, she doesn't like the pepper inside. Whoever wants pepper. Un po'. La pasta pata del baby, she would. Sì, so ci vedo io, te capito di riuscimento, che? Ecco qua, a little bit, a little bit. Palace change over the years and you become intolerant to certain things and... Te la devo dire esatto. Molto profumato. Sì, in fact, when we were coming back into the kitchen, it smelled so good just by the steps. My mouth was watering and hers was even more. Dimmi, questo ce la metto già quando metto la dente, no qua. No, esatto. This is some smoked mats, okay? To her, it's important that it's smoked because it gives you that really delicious flavor. You can use regular. But can you use another formaggio? Can you use provolone? Can you use another formaggio? No, no, no. Can you use any cheese? You can use any cheese that you want. You can use the galbanino. The galbanino is more adapted. We can, you can use just like any mild cheese. Forte, per if you like it sharp, you can do like a sharp provolone. Invece la fumicata ti dà un buon sapore particolare. Yeah, this one gives you a really good like smoky undertone. Oh, and it's good, it's good. Anyway. It's good. 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 It's I've already salted. I've, al I've already added salt. You're gonna need a baking pan. Which I'm a burro, no? No. You don't. Body oil. 
presentat si jo va venir si jo m'he trobat gruell és un miet de quan a cop de eh you don't have she said you don't have to you don't have to butter it or do anything to your roasting pan if I wasn't using like a ceramic baking dish, I were using a metal dish, I would butter it or put a little oil. But because I'm using this baking dish, I'm not going to. You need some breadcrumbs. Now, ordinarily, my aunt's here, by the way, and I was talking to her about this recipe. She says you can make your own. You don't want a real fine breadcrumb, uh, something with a little texture. So we like the idea of using panko or making your own. I'm going to use panko um, because I have it. It's easy. But if you were to make your own, just leave it, you know, dry it out. And just don't make it like a fine, fine, you know, breadcrumb texture. Just uh, give it a little texture. So I'm going to grab some of that. We have our parm here. We have this here. This is going to take another five, seven minutes or so. And that's pretty much it for now. All right, this is ready. It has to cook. You don't want the pasta to be fully cooked. So you want to cook it for about half the time because it's going to go into the oven. Posso? Okay, 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 prossima, okay, così, allora poi prima formaggio, eh sì, prima formaggio, giusto? E poi il pane lattate. No, il pane lattate è troppo mesi di questo. Sì, dopo del formaggio. Ok, ok, metti il uh, formaggio, qua, tap it with the cheese of your choice, really partial to the smoked here, really is such a fave, very underrated, mmm, 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 okay, I'm using Italian seasoned panko, because like I said, fans of the texture, buono, Vai. Yum, 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 yum. Yum. Potessi fare la stessa cosa con il riso o no? Con il riso e patan? If you want to make this recipe with rice, if you grew up eating riso e patan, you can make the same thing with rice. Il pesto è che batta così. Aspetta un po' qua. Ok. Poi ci mettiamo. Sì, sì. Parmigiano. Yeah. Add a little bit of parm. Like so, like that. Basta? Si. Sì. Okay. And a little bit of olive oil. Così. Basta. Quando tempo nel forno? Momentina di minuti? About 20 minutes in a hot oven till the top is golden brown. It's a little bit Okay. 20 minutes or so until it looks the way she tells me that it's good. And then we proceed to eat. This baby was in the oven exactly 20 minutes. Si può mangiare direttamente o aspettare? Okay, you can eat it right away basically, but you probably should let it sit just a little bit. We're just gonna massaggiamo, no? Giusto per far vedere. Far vedere. Eh, sì. Già vai a mangiare. It's very hot. Wow. No, per noi. E ci capisco. Eh, da vanilla costi, devono vedere la consistenza com'è. Ah, ecco. See, you have your cheese pull, which is important. Everything has soaked up all of the liquid. The pasta is fully cooked. Assaggiamo. La forchetta dove sta là? We're gonna do this together. Aspetta. Solo la madana sta avviata. Non vedi bene? Non ti preoccupa, perché mi coglie, capito? It's too hot. Mmm. It's simply sublime. Assaggia questo, questa parte qua. Perché credo tenendo tutta la fumiga nella coppa. Mmm. Ha. Wow, come è buona. Oh my word. I could cry because it's so good. 
This, this by the way, means it's de delicious. That, that's a symbol. If any of you grew up with that, just let me know. It's so good. Uscita fenomenale. Bueno. I will have the recipe written for you. Please understand that the recipe will have a lot of estimates because you're going to have to go by look and feel because as you could see, it's impossible for the woman to give me written recipes. But I will do my best. It will be on Laura in the Kitchen at com. Good, Hope you enjoy spending time with us. And I'll saluta. Buona, buona, buona. Buona, buona, speciale. <laughs> saluta. See you next time. Bye-bye. Benvenuta, buonissima. Gitta Isabella.